Hi, I'm here recording my end of the month items. So, this is the end of the month for uh, August, and I can't believe it, it came by so quick, but I'm happy about having oh, a long weekend soon. So, some of my favorite things include this month are my Hello Kitty wallet. It's so cute. It's got little studs, and it's red and purple, and... Um, got a place for your cards in here and a place for your papers in here and a place for money which is important okay anyway that was really cute that was a gift from my sister and I have to say thank you um also I like the new Bath and Body Works little design for their hand sanitizers um the hand sanitizers went up like a quarter I think but also the little shape changed and they have new little holders, so those are really cute. Um, now I don't know what to do with my old one. <laughs> anyway, let's start with the stuff I have in this bag, because I guess the stuff was loose. They're little things, they're little items, and that's probably why I have them in this bag. So let's start off with wipes. I use this Target brand wipes, which I do like. Um, another Target brand wipes, which I do like. Um, this is a dollar store brand wipes. Um, I don't like them for my face, but I like them, you know, just to wipe up or dab on your brush if you were using your brush. All right. I got a use of my cocoa butter shea. I used um, a country chic Bath and Body Works. All gone now. It was sitting there for a long time. I was trying to use them all up. Uh, Victoria's Secret, such a flirt um, lotion. All gone. Uh... Love and Glory. This is a J.Lo perfume lotion set. This is all gone. The perfume's still going. Um, this is a Britney Spears Fantasy lotion. Also gone. This is a Spa Therapy Gilchrist and Sor Sor Sormans um, lotion. It was one of those samples on a beauty box. And it smells good. So anyway, <clears throat> this was a um, moisturizing body lotion for like the hands, um, a pocket size one. I didn't really care for it too much. It's not that it didn't work. It just, it smells really leafy. I don't know how I can explain it. It smells like you pouring green tea on yourself. I don't know. I didn't care for the scent. Ah, oh, a little sea salt by Claire Salt. Uh, facial thing, a uh, little scrub. This was fun. Um, it was just kind of a weird texture because it's dry, so I wasn't sure pour it in my face like that and rub it, or put it inside my water and rub it. I just, but it was fun and I liked it. And I kind of poured it both ways and it worked, so I'm good. All right. Uh, old school Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Oh, poor professionals. Um, uh, ooh, professionals, uh, ooh, primer, primer, ooh. um, love it, I even cut the top, try to get everything in, um, unfortunately, once you cut the top, air goes in, and then it doesn't stay, it's nice consistency anymore, so, sadly, okay, this is a julep hand, um, and cuticle stick, and it's not all gone, I really, really like it, it's shade, everything else the problem is that it's a little roller thing my roller got stuck up there for the love of me I've tried banging on and everything and I can't get it out but anyway I like to keep that at night before I went to sleep I would just rub it on my hands and, and um, make it all nice and soft okay this was a Medusa lipstick and it was in Skid Row and this was one of a very favorite if you guys oh see still got some in there um, but it's all gone it pretty much melted on there and um, I have no choice but to get rid of it. Got rid of one of these Urban Decay um, uh, eyeliners. You know, like a little goldy brown. I used one of these Real Technique bl um, brushes, sponges, um, blending sponges. I really, really like this. I need to go repurchase it. It's really a good price and it works really well. Just, it just got beat up and old. Um, what do I have in here? Oh, a Neutrogena um, concealer where you twist this 
you would twist this and then you'd put it up under your eye. And I liked it because you didn't get your hands dirty. And it was really nice. And this had SPF um, 25. So definitely something to want to repurchase. Um, I'll wait till it gets on sale at CVS because it was a little bit up there in the concealer prices. But very good product. So I don't need to do anything. Okay. I used up a Swab Wild Cherry Bl Blossom Body Wash. And the body wash, is that all I have? Oh, no. One more body wash. Uh, White Rain Creamy Coconut Hibis. I, I got to tell you this, I got this one at the dollar store for 50 cents, which is really funny because I've never seen anything clearanced off at the dollar store because I would think it's a dollar store. But anyway, it was only 50 cents. And um, I liked it. I would think that people wouldn't like it because it wasn't a creamy cons consistency and it wasn't a liquidy one it was kind of like a mixture of both so when you put it on but um i like the smell and it was okay I, if i went back and i saw more i probably picked up more oh it's gone you guys my wen spring honey lilac cleanser conditioner i love this i told you back in i think it was may my son brought me like the whole collection because uh, mr chaz dean was there and I love, 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 love this. Um, repurchase, yes, but it'd have to be a special treat maybe during the holidays because this is so expensive. But um, it is well worth it. It smells so good and it works so good. So definitely a repurchase on the little higher end. But um, And, you know, you can't resist to want to buy the whole set. So hopefully during the holidays I have come out with a gift set and I will purchase it. Okay. This is my... Sebastian wet or my imitation Sebastian wet so it's like my gel that I put in my hair to make my hair look a little bit healthier and, and to keep the curl um, that's what I have in my hair all the time and it's Sebastian wet it's liquid gel and this is um, $6 six fifty nine because I'm a Sally member otherwise it would be seven um, twenty nine but this lasts me a good six months I purchased a new one and that one's gone mixed chicks shampoo ah I really really like the conditioner the leave-in conditioner I don't care for the shampoo too much I'm not a big shampoo person as far as this is concerned I I I want something else just a nice smelling shampoo I I get it it's good for you but I, I really don't care for that I wouldn't pay the price it was a gift so I used it all up and I will purchase the conditioner again I won't purchase that one again um Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. This smells really good and it works really good. And yes, I will repurchase and I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of sad it's not, um, I didn't go buy anymore. I was trying to get rid of what I have because I tend to buy a whole bunch of hairsprays and stuff. And then I'm stuck with a whole bunch of it. Okay, uh, I used up a one Noxima bottle, which is surprising because I think last month I had like four. There's just one. Um, a Secret Invisible powder fresh um, physicians formula translucent powder this was a lot of fun and I still have the little brush down there it's all clean I might keep it but I usually don't that's all gone I had a little pearl on top this was a really good purchase um, what else do I got in here oh a Michael Todd pumpkin facial so that's in there Maybe I should just throw it in this little Ziploc so it's not all over my floor. Okay. Um, this mango salsa. Huge candle. And it's not real candle time because it's summer and it's really hot in L.A. But um, this is done so I'm going to recycle that and use that jar again. And what else did I have? I have one more. Oh, a mascara. A mascara by Hourglass. I don't know. I've got this in one of my beauty boxes. It was, I like it. But I told you guys a long time ago, I like little brushes so I can get in my lashes because um, I have short lashes and I have little eyes. and So things like that help me a lot. <clears throat> Alright, what's in here? Let's see. I think this is it. This was a peppermint candy that I got at um, Marshall, Marshall's? Marshall's. Yes, Marshall's. It's like five bucks or something. It smells really good. Um, it's... 
it, it kind of wore out, so it's kind of like, ah. Oh. But I like the smell of it. It reminds me of Christmas, and I probably got lucky. Somebody probably returned it, and there I was on the on the shelf, and I happened to pick it up. Okay, and last thing, non-beauty related, but very important to light your candles. So this is a lighter, um, one of those that you, you know, but this is so cool. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Very inexpensive. I think it was under three bucks. And this is the best part, you guys. Look. It twists and it turns. And you could store it that way. Or you could just bend it so you can light your candle. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so cool? And like I said, cheaper than some of the other ones. Um, I just went to like um, a candle shop and I saw some of these for like 10, 12 bucks. And I was like, wow. I even saw some other ones at Target for like seven dollars I'm like darn this was like maybe three bucks less than that I swear it was less than that it was probably like two bucks or something but anyway I was so amazed I didn't realize it did this and I was so cool but anyway sometimes you need to get into that jar like that and your little your um, jar is long and you got to get to the bottom <sighs> that's it that's all I got that was my end of my month empties and I appreciate you watching and I um We'll see you next month. Thank you so much. Make a peace.